Lonnie Quinn is here, and we're looking at a chance for some issues tonight, too. Yeah, they're out there right now, and they're just sort of nipping at Pike County. I'll show them to you. I don't think it's going to be a widespread event, but we'll take a look at what is out there. This is the picture right now over the city. Temperature right now comes in 78 degrees. It feels like 80, so that's pretty nice when you have a temperature of 78 and only feels 2 degrees warmer because during the heating of the day, we've been having just such brutal humidity in place. 91 today felt like 98. All right, and a lot of you inland had temperature readings into the triple digits out there. Uh, not temperatures, feels like readings into the triple digits. What do we expect? You're going to get a tiny bit of relief tomorrow. I'll explain all that in just a moment, a tiny bit. But you go right back to the super muggy conditions by the time you get to Friday. And Friday, especially late Friday into Saturday, storm chances are back in the forecast. So Sunday's going to be the better day. Between Saturday and Sunday, pick Sunday. But lo and behold, man, Sunday comes with our third heat wave of a very young summer season. Our third one is brewing for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. So if tomorrow's gonna be a beach day for you, and I encourage you, yeah, go to the beach, swim in the protected beaches, if, especially if you're at an open ocean beach because south shore of Long Island, you have a high risk for rip currents. Jersey Shore, you've got a moderate risk for rip currents. I got some big waves out there. You need to have the lifeguards on guard. Here's what we have, all right? We have, you talk about those storms making their way into the area, and I said, hey, they're just nipping here at Pike County. Zoom in tight there. This area in that maroon color, some flash flood warnings were issued in portions of Pennsylvania, but this is Pike County right now on top of 84, and this batch of heavy rain around Chestnut Hill is moving in the direction of Dingman, so I think it's going to make its way to the east, but really, this line is not moving due east. It's moving north northeast or so. So it's going to be a very slow progression as it marches through. I do think it's going to, but all the while, I think as it moves to the east, it gets weaker and weaker. Watch how the computer models pick up on it. So the initialization here is pretty spot on, right? Right around the Dingman area. And then by the time you get to 2.30, this may be underplayed a little bit. I think there's enough juice in that line that there'll be a little bit more than just a stray little shower by 2.30, but it does get weaker and weaker as it pushes through the area. Then you're going to get into your day on Thursday with a spot shower chance. It's not overwhelming at all. On Friday, watch this, coming up from the south. So tropically enhanced storms are moving in. It's not a tropical system, but the origination was, so we get some pretty decent heavy, heavy downpours coming in at times, late Friday into Saturday. You see that? And if you're wondering about how much rain, you're 89 degrees for your day tomorrow with not a lot. But you could see with those tropical downpours, areas that see heavy rain Friday into Saturday, some, po some spots possibly picking up one to two inches of rain, wherever you see that dark red color. Look around Delaware five and a half inches of rain. Other spots where they miss it will only be picking up a half an inch or less across the board. 89 tomorrow, we talked about that, but then Friday and Saturday get back to an increased chance for a shower or storm. 85 Friday, but with the mugginess back in place, that'll feel again like 90. And then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, we saw that. Another, another four-day run of 90-degree temps out there. Here Hang we in go. There. All right, thanks. Hot Lonnie. summer. <laughs>